The second to last stop of the PKRA Kitesurf World Tour is on. Our riders visit New Caledonia where they find one of the world's best flat water spots in the capital of Noumea. With its steady strong winds, the last stop before the final offers some of the best conditions on the PKRA Tour this year. Everybody is going to go big. We caught up with Yuri Zun to check out the forecast for the upcoming week. All right, so for this week we have very good wind expectation, 20, 25 knots. But yeah, as I said, the wind conditions look super good, like 20, 25 knots, sometimes even more. Uh, straight offshore, flat water conditions, so yeah, it's guaranteed for some sick action here. This event is both an exciting and stressful situation for Yuri, who is fighting hard with Alex Pastor from Spain to challenge Andy Yates for the world title. Yates, who is currently in the lead, will have strong competition for this event and the final event in Australia. Everyone keeps asking me, you know, what I, what do I have to do to win and what do they have to get up, but I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just going to try and do as best I can in every single heat and hopefully I can get it and tie it up here, but if not, I'll tie it up in Gold Coast where everyone's going, yeah, for me. I just had a heat against a local guy, Mick uh, Daklu. Yeah, he had a really nice heat and it's, it's hard on the old... Um, on the, on the mine when you're kiting in every like 20 seconds you hear this yeah, yeah, yeah. and then 20 yeah. seconds and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard on the mind but I won so what else well because of the perfect conditions here the organizers launched some second disciplines kite loop and board off this gives the opportunity for the riders to go big, go high and express themselves freely, which mostly leads to some huge crashes. Local rider Anton Monavi wins the kite loop contest with some serious stylization. Also in the board off contest, the riders went big to have more time for the old school tricks. Sebastian Guerra wins the board off contest by flipping his board and smoothly lands with his board back on his feet. In the main discipline, the freestyle queens Gisela and Bruna had a pretty tough battle against each other. I just came out of the heat with Gisela for second and third. I crashed a lot and I had a pretty good heat actually. I think my moves were a lot more power than hers, but uh, maybe she did a more quantity and it's competition. The final was between young Gisela and the Polish powerhouse Karolina Winkowska. I could do I couldn't go more I was thinking if we have to go another time I can't go better so I just gave all I had all power all difficult tricks and I won Gisela Pulido ends up second but that was still enough to win the overall title definitely has been the most difficult year I had to to fight against Carolina that she's running very powerful and I had to to do like very technical maneuvers to, to keep on the first place. But yeah, I'm really happy that I got it, so so now I have to enjoy the title. Back to the men's division, and will Alex Pastor and Yuri Zun be able to advance up the ladder to meet Andy Yates in the final? We will see. I was pretty tired uh, at the end. I've been kiting a lot today. Too many hits, uh, yeah, at the end I lost against Yuri Zun. So Yuri will battle in the final. In third place, we have Tom Hebert, who showed his tricks old school style which we could see in this cool Jesus walk. Yuri and Andy gave it everything in the final heat, pulling one trick after another. Whew, I'm getting dizzy just watching these guys.
Nice non-inverted slim or NIS from Andy. Yuri fights back with a 3-1-3, but had to give it to Andy in the end. I just can't believe like, to tie it up here with one event to go, and that happens to be on the Gold Coast, so I'll be, be world champion, crown, on the Gold Coast in my home country. It's just, it's something I look, looked at the start of the year, and I was like, man, that would be just, that'd just be the best moment of my life forever. And now that I've done it, and it's, I don't know what to think of it. Like, it kind of feels like it's not there yet, but I just got to tell myself that it is, and I'm a champion. And yeah! <laughs> Andy can relax now and put on a show for his fans at his home spot where they will cheer him on to winning the last event of the season. See you all in Australia for the final tour stop of the year. Ciao, everyone.